Let's talk about the next topic in line which is significant figures. The first thing we should know is that any measurement can be meaningful only up to a certain number of digits. Let's take the example of a typical centimeter scale. In a centimeter scale, the least count is usually 1 millimeters. So measurements like 2.1 centimeters and 3.5 centimeters are sensible. But if someone makes a measurement which is say 2.875 centimeters using just this scale is clearly wrong because this instrument can only measure up to one decimal place. So this kind of limitation on resolution of measuring instruments can be expressed in terms of something called significant figures which we use to do multiple different arithmetics on. So first of all we will talk about the rules to determine significant figures in measurement and later on we will also do arithmetics on them. The first rule says that changing different units does not change the number of significant figures in a measurement. So if I convert a measurement in meters to centimeters, the number of significant digits in the measurement is not affected. All the non-zero digits are significant. So in my measurement expressed, whatever digits are non-zero will all be considered significant. All zeros between two non-zero digits are significant irrespective of the position of the decimal point. So for example, in case of a number like 1005, I will have four significant digits because the zeros are present between the two non-zero numbers, that's what it says. For a number less than one, all the zeros on the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant or insignificant. So for example, if I have a number as 0.002308, clearly this number will have only four significant digits because all the preceding zeros, all the zeros before the first non-zero digit will be considered insignificant or not significant. The terminal or trailing zeros in a number without a decimal point are not significant. So over here the example 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. Now the last two zeros are trailing zeros and there is no decimal point in the number. Therefore these zeros will not be considered as significant. If there is a decimal point or if there was a decimal point in this number, these two zeros will become significant. That's the most important point you must remember. Example for the same. Over here we can take that if I have 4.7 meters, the same thing can be expressed as 47 decimeters or 470 centimeters or 4700 millimeters. I am merely changing the units and the number of significant digits shall not be changing. So clearly 4700 millimeters shall not have 4 significant digits, it should still have only 2 significant digits. That's exactly why this rule over here which you just saw, the trailing zeros is defined and is important for you to understand. The trailing zeros in a number with a decimal point are significant. So if we have a decimal point in the number, all the trailing zeros will be considered significant. So 0 0.6900 clearly has four significant figures because there is a decimal point and there are trailing zeros which will now be considered significant. Purpose of mentioning trailing zeros in case of a number with decimal point is to indicate the precision, which means if I have an instrument that measures a mass to be 2.1 kilograms, and I have a second instrument that measures the mass to be 2.100 kilograms. The second instrument is clearly measuring up to four decimal places and the first instrument can only measure up to one decimal place. So the second instrument is being much more precise in its measurement compared to the first uh, instrument. That's why this rule is, is important and is included in the significant figures identification. Now let's talk about something called scientific notation which is widely used by scientists around the world. In scientific notation, any measurement is expressed in the form a into 10 raised to power b, where a is a real number between 1 to 10 and b is an integer. So there is a real number between 1 to 10 multiplied by 10 raised to power an integer number, it can be positive negative. Digits in a reflect the significant digits in the measurement and exponent is irrelevant to the significant digits. So once again we can understand the concept of this by the same example that we talked about. So I have 4.7 meters that can be written in multiple different ways by mere conversion of units. If I express each of them in scientific notation, the first one can be expressed as 4.7 into 10 raised to power 0 meters. Then 47 decimeters can be written as 4.7 into 10 raised to power 1 dm. Next one can be written as 4.7 into 10 raised to the power 2 centimeters and the last one 4.7 into 10 raised to the power 3 millimeters. Now by looking at these numbers in scientific notation, it is very clear that each of them have two significant digits. So by mere change of units, only the value of b is affected. 
and hence it does not affect the significant digits the number of significant digits still continue to be 2 and the change of units has no effect on it that's why scientific notation is widely used and is considered as one of the most uh, proper way to express measurements because it does not affect significant digits thank you